All right, today I'm gonna to talk about my sous vide setup and in the process, test this new microphone and see how it works out for me. So this is my setup number one. It's an 18 quart tub with an Inova. It's a Lipavi tub and this is an 800 watt Inova cooker. So Inova and uh, Jewel are like the one and one A competitors for the home sous vide cooker. I like this Inova because it it has an app. The Jewel has an app too, but that's all it has for controls as far as I can tell. So this one is has a little manual dial so that you don't have to worry about an app not working or getting locked up or whatever. I'm, I work in IT. I don't really trust apps all that much. So good old analog controls, old fashioned. So uh, there's a nice little rack that fits in the bottom of the 18 quart tub. Uh, I'm cooking some prime rib end cap steaks there. They're going to be amazing, I hope. Uh, the lid is good for keeping the evaporation down and keeping the heat in. So I also use these reusable bags. These are branded or Sioux, just cheap Chinese stuff. Uh, these bags are, are reusable, reusable, BPA free. And what you do is you put your protein in, you seal it up. It gives you this little tab thing to help close the seal up. It fits on there and you can close it up really good because it's a really tight, tight seal there. And then you take the pump and you basically just pump the air out of this hole here. Good thing about these is uh, when you're done cooking, turn them inside out, put them in the dishwasher, wash them. When you take them out, turn them right side out and air them out so they look like that. That's last week's bags that I'm going to reuse this week. So again, tons of options on Amazon for these. I just happened to pick this one brand out of random and it served, they served me well. So. Setup number two, not on, but this is a 12 quart tub. This is an Ivory, I think it's a Rubbermaid tub and an Ivory lid. And this is also is an Innova 800 watt. Oh, another thing about the app is I can't control either. I can't control both of these, both this one and that one with the same app. Uh, it doesn't work. So it's gotta be one or the other. So again, I don't mess around with any of that stuff. Uh, I manually handle all the cook times, so I don't have the app doesn't need to tell me any of that stuff. So I don't worry about that. So another useful item to have is a rack, right? This is adjustable, comes with all these dividers. And so if you're having, you know, different proteins or, you know, some people like butter, some people don't with their steak or pork. I'm not a butter guy. Uh, so you can st you can slot your steaks in these these little slots and it's, it's also fairly useful for vegetables also because vegetables like to float and pork kind of likes to float too so you don't want your meat floating around so you use these racks where appropriate so these dividers also uh, you get what do I have here five six seven dividers uh, these are actually good to use as a bottom rack for the smaller tub because the 8 by 12 rack over there won't fit uh, so just keep the meat off of the bottom of the tub and you can also use these as weights So you can place place these on top of the protein on on the bottom of the tub there And then to sear my meat when all is said and done uh, This is a uh, burns -O matic torch TS 8000 and This is a sears all and what it does is it it allows you to sear the meat and you want to get a nice good color on the meat, but you don't want to have any like propane taste. So uh, this does a great job of it. So you can also sear with cast iron, but I don't recommend it because it makes my house all smoky. So, but this is what it looks like. It's going to be kind of loud. And again, don't do this around anything flammable, please, because this thing is no joke. Hopefully it'll fire the first time. <laughs> But basically you just take that outside. I, I use a, I throw the meat on the grill, not on, and then just take that torch and just give it a good, good going over with that till it starts getting uh, caramelized and black, and bubbly. And then just get it to your desired level of doneness. And uh, that's that. So thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please ask them in the comments section. I will see you later. Bye.